Hello, my lovely Libras. How are you today? Thanks for stopping by. We're getting ready to do a love reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's like a buffet table. Leave what's not yours. Take the rest. All right. So after cutting the deck, what do we have at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy? Well, the Ten of Coins. <laughs> Virgo energy. There is a lot of love overflowing, a lot of passion, a lot of gift giving. Ooh, Libra, there you are. Okay. So let's see what we have here in this reading for you, Libra. The mutual energy between you and your beloved in the recent past is a Five of Coins. You both felt left out in the cold. And that energy is Taurus energy. The current mutual energy is a two of cups, Cancerian energy. How your person views a relationship, the page of cups. Well, it's a start. That is Pisces energy. How they view you, Libra. Two of coins, you haven't made up your, your mind as far as they're concerned. They think that you have not made a decision and that you could be juggling two people. How do they feel in their heart space? Ooh, they want to take care of you, Libra. We have the beautiful Capricorn Queen for energy that is all about stability and being there and being grounded and being responsible and it's all about commitment. I like it. It's the mommy card or the nurturing card. How they see the two of you moving forward in this relationship, the High Priestess card. Intuitively, they feel as though the two of you will do very well. All right. What's the hidden energy between the two of you? Well, Lati Da, you have the chariot. That is, honey, I'm home. I want to make sure you're there when I come in at night. So the two of you are racing towards each other at this time. I also think that you have telepathic communication going on. What is spirit recommending for your relationship, Libra? Well, Libra Queen, there you are. The universe is telling you, Libra, that you have this. The universe has your back, but you know what to do. Stay balanced. Cut anything out of your life that doesn't serve you. What is the outcome at this time? No decision is made. Eight of Swords energy, Gemini energy, really talking about the fact that both of you are not on the same page yet. Your person, Libra, sees you as not fully committed to them. Both of you feel as though there's something missing or something's wrong with the communication, the time you spend together. But the energy speaks to the fact that you will be moving forward with this chariot card, but you're not going to talk about it. Just, you know, I'm over here, I'm just going to whistle, and, you know, I'm not going to talk about what's going on. So take care, and um, really, really hope that you are in this energy, that you're going to have the relationship without talking about it. So that's what it looks like right now. We also have clarifiers for you here. Let's take a look and see what's happening here, Libra. So we have the Ten of Coins energy, and the Ten of Coins energy is all about stability. It's Virgo energy. It's about a couple who wants to make it happen. You want to build a legacy relationship. Both of you are, you have the same goals, so I like that. Eight of Wands reversed. So right now, it looks like the two of you are actually not moving forward. Though you see one another as your ship in the harbor, you have some clarity. This relationship looks like it throws both of you into to a state of confusion. When I get the moon card reversed, it doesn't look like you're confused now, but it does like you. It does look like you were confused in the recent past. So why is the five of coins here? Why do we have both of you having felt? left out in the cold. What was happening with that energy? Why did both of you feel so lost? Hierophant, player energy with the Knight of Wands, and the Empress card. So one of you came into this relationship in a very serious way, but the other one, the other person, is a Sagittarius energy that was like, okay, I know that you want marriage and you want long-term commitment and you want to manifest a beautiful life. Well, you're in agreement on the manifesting a beautiful life, but
But honestly, Libra, since you're the one with the two of coins, I feel as though your person thinks that they're a lightweight and that you're looking for somebody different than them. So they see you as having player energy, but they also see you as their divine love and the person that they would like to marry. So they seem to be far more serious than you are. Sometimes energies are vice versa, as you know. So why do we have the Two of Cups? Because right now, the two of you are feeling very, very committed, or at least in love. Two of Cups is about a deep sense of love and affection. Let's see what we have. Magician card. Ooh, the chemistry is building, Libra. You are in a beautiful place. The two of you are trying to manifest each other, but you're really not talking about it. It's like, let's just keep this a big fat secret, even between us. Two of Swords, yep. It looks as though you're having trouble communicating. That's what I'm getting. The emotions are there, the communication is not there. The Three of Coins, you both want the relationship, okay? You also might have met each other at work. Let's see, what do we have here for the Page of Cups? So the Page of Cups, if you notice, has a little pig in the corner with wings. Well, pigs don't fly, so your person is not overly optimistic about the relationship, but they do want to offer that cup of love and they don't know what to do or say with you at this time. So they do hold back the Eight of Cups. Your person sees a relationship as one that is not gonna last, as, as if you're going to walk away from them. Tell us more about that Eight of Cups, please. Eight of Coins. Eights are usually stability, even, well, with the Eight of Cups anyway. Why is this, your person feeling so optimistic, though you've walked away? Ah, <laughs> your person is so determined with this Virgo energy to win you over. This to them, when you have walked away or you're not really showing the kind of interest they want, they think, yes, when pigs fly, Virgo will choose me, but I'm going to work at this until I win Virgo over. Oh, they are so in it to win it. All right, so the two of coins, that is a surprising reading. I like twists and turns that are so nice. Good. Okay, so the two of pentacles, why is it here? Why does your person see you, uh, Libra, as this, you know, wishy-washy person? The, oh, wow, the wheel of fortune. So they feel like when the timing is right, you will have a rebirth. I would say that for some of you, though, is that someone's married, okay? I don't really see the classic third-party indications, but I do feel as though your person, Libra, sees you when the timing is right, walking away from another relationship. So that 10 of coins could be you, it might not be, but they feel like there's a timing and luck factor involved here. And your person seems to have clarity about this. So for whom it resonates, take it as it resonates and leave comments below because I really, it helps me so much with my accuracy when you let me know. The Queen of Pentacles energy indicates that your person not only wants to take care of you, they also feel like they need to defend themselves in your relationship. They want to defend the right to approach you. They want to defend their right to talk to you. They definitely want to maintain conversation with you. It does look like for some of you that one of you walked away, and I think it's you, at least temporarily. Your person's not giving up. They are not going anywhere. They are happy to close out a cycle of not being successful in your relationship so they can have that beautiful Ten of Cups happily ever after energy. So interesting. So what we have here for you, Libra, is we have, again, the Page of Cups energy. Look at this, the Ten of Swords. Your person feels very defeated because they want you to rush towards them and you're not but you are showing your person that you love them. They love you, you love them. Hence, watery energy, honey, I'm home. Okay, so let's see what we have here for this, the chariot card. 
So it looks like, Libra, it looks like your person's waiting for you. They're waiting for you to make a final decision and to step in fully to this relationship with great passion and enthusiasm. Ten of coins, see? Honey, I'm home. So for those of you who are already in a relationship, this can be a reconciliation, but your person is not giving up on you no matter what the love story is. Why is a Libra queen here for what, what is recommended by spirit? What is going on with that energy? Oh, the star card, Aquarius energy. Beautiful, the star card reversed. Excuse me, the star card upright. It flew around, and um, but it was upright at the beginning. So what I'm seeing here for you, Libra, is your person feels as though you are their wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying that the two of you are on a spiritual journey. Ah, Libra, I get the clarification card of Libra. Now I get the clarification of the King of Pentacles. If you recall, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So Spirit is saying that you're a divine couple. I've had almost all, at least four divine readings. This is crazy, look at this energy. So this is your wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying, hang in there. Make a good judgment, be fair, but they're really, Spirit is saying that you're very much loved, you love your person, and so we see that at the end of the week, the second week of September, nothing really much is happening, you're not really moving forward, the two of you may not be talking a lot, it does speak to the fact that you are both being very strategic in terms of a ring or an offer that the two of you would like to have. The Ace of Coins is a magnificent offer for a stable relationship. So we see the outcome is very different than where you're at in the story at this time. Let's look and see where your journey of love is taking you right now. Let's see one card for your person. Okay, your person is the pearl threaded, ooh. They feel like they are tied to you with that beautiful, beautiful pearly thread. They're not going anywhere. Your energy here is where within nothing there is everything. So I would say that there is a, a vibe here of twin flame soulmate sort of energy. Uh, those cards weren't specific, but it looks like the two of you are really trying to come together and overcome other odds and other situations. Let's look at the Sacred Destiny card. I'm going to pull two cards of advice for you momentarily. All right, the Sacred Destiny card is Illumination. Oh, you're going to learn something soon. All right, Libra. Let's see. New beginnings, there you go. That is a new beginning in love with your person. So let's see what the advice is from the Seven Energies Oracle. What is the advice for our beautiful Libra couple here? Seeing beyond what you see now. One more card, Spirit. One more card, okay. Spirit of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude. I love it. Libra, beautiful reading for you. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Bye-bye.